A 40-year-old man was shot to death on Sunday near Sepulveda Middle School. Officers responded to the shooting and found the victim suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. He was later pronounced dead. An investigation is underway, but currently the police have no suspects or a motive. A consultant for the FDA says people who have a pacemaker device should use caution when using their iPod headphones. The magnets within headphones can reportedly cause interference with the pacemaker even when not plugged in. The interference could cause heart palpitations or temporarily deactivate the device. A new study has found that women who experience migraine headaches are less likely to develop breast cancer. Researchers found that women with migraines have a 30% lower risk of breast cancer. It is not clear why migraine sufferers have a lower risk of developing the disease, but researchers believe it may have something to do with hormones. New research has found that people with low cholesterol can dramatically lower their chances of dying or having a heart attack by taking the cholesterol-lowering pill Crestor. The results were reported at an American Heart Association conference. Doctors said the study might lead as many as 7 million Americans to consider taking cholesterol-lowering statin drugs like Crestor, Lipitor or Zocor or other generic pills. And now here's Nikhil Dewan with entertainment, including the latest on the box office and Britney's surprise appearance at Madonna's concert at Dodger Stadium. Thanks, Desiree. Business was booming at movie theaters last weekend. The overall box office had its best performance for the first weekend in November in four years. The talking animals from Madagascar escaped to Africa devoured the competition at theaters. The latest DreamWorks movie took in more than $63.5 million, the biggest opening of the year for animated films. The comedy Role Models debuted at number two, taking in $19 million. This R-rated film is about two slackers who are ordered by a court to mentor a pair of troubled kids. And Disney's High School Musical 3 fell two spots to number three, dropping 39% to an estimated $9.3 million. With more than $75 million so far, the smash hit still has a shot of finishing with $100 million. Britney Spears and her ex, Justin Timberlake, appeared on stage at Madonna's Sticky and Sweet tour in L.A. last week. It was hardly a reunion, though. Spears and Timberlake took the stage separately, joining Madonna for different songs. A source says the two did at least say hi to each other, and that Justin was very cool. Adrian Balin is the latest Disney chick with some provocative pictures floating around cyberspace. While at the JFK airport in October, Bill and noticed her laptop was missing from her bell cart. The laptop was later returned that day in exchange for money, but several semi-nude pictures were missing from it. The cheetah girl had reportedly taken the photos as an anniversary present for her boyfriend, Robert Kardashian. Bill and says she's angry and she will be filing a lawsuit. Jaden James, the youngest son of Britney Spears, was hospitalized earlier this week. He was driven to a hospital in Mississippi near the Spears home in Kentwood, Louisiana. Spears and her two sons were there for the weekend. James was treated for a reaction he had to food. Santa Monica's KCRW radio music director will step down on November 30th after 10 years on the job. Nick Harcourt first hosted Morning Becomes Eclectic for the station in 1977 and took it national. He is credited for introducing artists like Coldplay and Nora Jones to a wider audience. He will continue to be heard on the same frequency on Sundays with the three-hour music show. South African singer Miriam Makiba has died of a heart attack. Makiba collapsed last Sunday after singing one of her famous hits, Para Para. She died early Monday. Makiba received star status in the United States by becoming the first African woman to win a Grammy Award. Even Oprah is feeling the crunch of the current economy. O Home magazine will be taken off the shelves and folded back into the flagship O magazine. With advertisers severely cutting back, O Home magazine is the second magazine at Hearst to go under. Closure of the magazine came on the same day Disney Communications said Oprah Winfrey's syndicated show will end in 2011. Reactions to California's approval of Proposition 8 have not been subtle. Celebrities have also made their voices heard. Ellen DeGeneres, who wed girlfriend Portia de Rossi last summer, said she's saddened beyond belief. Singer-songwriter Melissa Etheridge took to her personal blog to suggest she will not pay her taxes since she is now a second-class citizen. Etheridge did not get to marry her partner Tammy Lee Michaels before the November 4th election. That does it for entertainment. Now back to Simone Luker with a heartwarming story about a dog named Minky. Simone? The number of homeless pets is increasing, but one special chihuahua in Brentwood has gotten a second chance. Valley View's Sunny Reichert reports. This is no ordinary chihuahua. This is Binky LaRue, and she was born with neither one of her front legs. Binky's owners, couple John and Sylvie Forrest, say they fell in love with her the minute they found her. 
So Binky Lauru is from the rescue, Chihuahua rescue. She was saved, she was going to be put down at the shelter. So they took her and she was in the rescue for a year before we saw her. And when we saw her, all she could do was hop around. So we figured she needed wheels. And it took about a good year and a half for her to get used to the wheels. John says after they were told that Binky would never walk, he devoted his time to finding a way. Well, it was the fifth one that I made, so each contraption is like totally different from the next. So this one just happened to work, and it wasn't until maybe 10 days ago that we took her outside and brought her in public, and now she can walk around. Binky's vet told the family that dogs don't realize their disabilities, so Binky doesn't even know she is missing her legs. You tell her she'll think something is wrong. <laughs> Binky knows how to function normally without her wheels. She can go upstairs and even jump off of the bed. Sylvie says Binky loves their other dog, Sparky. The best friends spend time together playing and enjoying latte foam at Starbucks, Binky's favorite spot. John explains how Binky has rolled into the hearts of many people, finding lifelong fans. When we first got her, I couldn't hold her for a couple of weeks. She's very timid, and uh, she's just, you know, as each week went by, we would see her get happier and happier. And now, and a lot of people, she has a lot of fans, and they got to see her change as well. So it's been, a, it's been really fun. Everybody's excited. As you can see, Binky may not look like the average dog, but she still leads a happy and healthy life thanks to her owners. In Brentwood with Binky and Sparky, this is Sunny Reichert for Valley View News. Thanks for watching Valley View News. I'm Desiree Reyes. I'm Simone Luca. I'm Tim Nowak. And I'm Nikhil Dewan. Have a great evening and we'll see you next week.